Hey everybody, this is Charlie with Rustair Toyota here. Today I'm behind the camera and I'm going to walk you through some of the differences between the Highlander LE trim level and the Highlander XLE trim level. On the left here, I have the Highlander LE and on the right, I have the Highlander XLE. Uh, to start off, I'm gonna list a lot of similarities of what both trim levels have in common. So both of them are gonna have LED headlights, LED fog lights, daytime running lights, the same grill, Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. Both have a smart key system. The smart key system works as such. I have the car locked. The key is in my pocket right there. I'm gonna walk up to the vehicle. I will put my hand in the vehicle and now the door just unlocked without me touching the key whatsoever. Both trim levels have Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So if I was on the road right now, I would have road sign assist. That would be a speed limit sign that is on the dashboard. So you already always know the speed limit. Uh, where you're driving on each specific road. Um, you would have automatic lights right there, which are currently turned on, or automatic high beams. A pre-collision system uh, at the front of the vehicle, and this is a camera in the front of the vehicle to detect pedestrians, other vehicles, bicyclists, and it would stop the vehicle to severely lessen or avoid that impact. Both trim levels are going to have a lane departure alert right there, located on the right-hand side of your steering wheel, Bluetooth settings on the left-hand side of your steering wheel. And as we roll the window down, both trim levels are going to have a blind spot monitoring system, which is located right on the side of each mirror. Both trim levels here have a 3.5 liter V6 engine and a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. The Highlander Hybrid has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. Now let's start with some of the differences between the LE and XLE trim level. Uh, right off the bat, on the exterior, you will notice there are different wheels. So this is the Highlander LE wheel, and here is the Highlander XLE wheel. Both wheels are the same size, however, they do have a different design, as you can tell. And going up to the Highlander XLE here, you can see that it comes with roof rails and a moonroof. The Highlander LE does not have either of these. Both trim levels also each come with a power lift gate. Uh, to operate it, you operate it from the key fob here, as we've discussed in previous videos. I can just hold this here, and the LE power lift gate is opening up right there. I can manually close that, either, again, from the key fob here or up top. This LE actually has an option package of coming with a tow hitch. No Highlander trim level comes standard with a tow hitch. However, some are factory installed and you can also install them aftermarket and we can do that right here. Both trim levels also come with remote start capabilities. And there we go, you can tell it blinked and it just started. And when you do have a remote start, you can simply open the door and the vehicle will turn off. Some of the big differences come on the interior. So the LE is going to come with a cloth fabric on the interior and a bench seat in the back. The LE model only comes with a bench seat in the back with this cup holder to separate here. Of course, three seats. And the XLE comes with captain's chairs or a bench seat in the back. This particular model here comes with captain's chairs cup holders in the middle, and leather interior instead of cloth interior. The XLE trim level also comes with eight-way power adjustable seat that the LE does not have. That raises the seat right there, and it also comes with lumbar support as well. The XLE also comes with a wireless charging pad here uh, that you can charge your phone on. The LE does not have that. And since this is an all-wheel drive model, uh, both trim levels could come with different drivetrain modes. So between eco, normal, sports, and with mud, sand, normal, rock, dirt for off-roading, and snow. The XLE also has a larger multi-informational display. And lastly, we're just gonna to touch on the difference in pricing between the LE and the XLE trim level. The standard difference is about $2,800. However, that can vary based on the options packages on either trim level, either an LE or an XLE. It could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less, but the standard difference is $2,800. So 
If you have any other questions, you can contact us at 262-334-9411. Our sales staff will be glad to help you out, answer any questions that you may have on Highlander trim levels or any other trim levels in general. Otherwise, drive safe, have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you soon here at Rust Air Toyota.